Keep calm and pray the Psalms. For Wednesday of the first week of All Saints Tide, the day after the national election here in the United States, a day today that is, well, full of confusion and talking and angst and very little joy on either side. When I started these psalms way back in March, I'm just really doing the psalms the way that I do them every night, and so you're just joining me in what is my normal, usual way of praying at night. I didn't think that they would last this long. I started it because of the pandemic, of course, which is still among us, although at a very reduced rate here in Massachusetts. But still there is great fear that come next week, next month, into next year, that again we'll have great panic. And so I continue to bring to you the Psalms. For in the midst of our troubles, while we're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, death that now includes what seems the death of our own nation, we need to know that we are not forsaken, not forgotten. That indeed God is control, in control. And that wherever he brings us, he never leaves us there alone. And so this on the day after a very contested and continued to be contested vote in our nation, let us remember that this is the day that the Lord has made. And so let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor seats in the sit sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the, ten, the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom, teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you knit together your faithful people of all times and all places into one holy communion, the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant us so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that together with them we may come to the unspeakable joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would keep, forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. I mean it. And give thee peace. You have a good night.